This is Tim DeLay with using windowshomeserver.com. When I recently remodeled my office, I decided it was time to give my server closet a remake also. My server closet was basically 48 inches by 80 with two bifold doors with some cheap Home Depot hardware inside and my EX45 and hard drives. What I decided to do was go to Ikea, spend $250 for a glass door bookcase that would slide into the closet. Once it was in the closet and I realized that I was going to have to ventilate the EX485, I decided to look around for cabinet fans. Now here's the thing. Over the years we've seen all sorts of people modify and take case fans and set those up to work as cabinet ventilation systems. But this company called CoolerGuys.com, for $25 you can get two 80 millimeter fans. You can get the grills, the mounting hardware, Molex connectors if needed, and the bracket, which I already have mounted in my closet for $25. Now basically this will set around uh, 50 cubic feet per minute as far as ventilation. So it's pretty much enough for any of the cabinets that are out there. And it is a great system. Again, it is USB. What does USB means? It means when your EX 485, 495, 470 goes to sleep and the USB power goes to sleep, the fans will shut off accordingly. This way you don't have to worry about any external power sources. Everything's through the USB. It is a sweet system. So I hope you check out the rest of the video, see how things went, see some of the additional things that we had to do to get the ventilation out. Again, it was $250 for the IKEA cabinet. It was $25 for the kit. And then I bought a couple of extra parts that I used for ventilation that you may or may not need. So thanks for watching the video and check out the rest. Okay, what I decided to do was I'm actually going to make almost like a periscope type vent. So what I did was is I just went to Home Depot and got me some wood and um, just used some regular pine here and then just made me a simple box. Just made it the same length, cut a 2x2 um, a two two piece of cheap plywood in half. Uh, so I've got actually 1x2. I drilled my hole, cut it out here, and then I'm just going to put this vent sitting on top of here like this. Once this is ready to go, put a top on it too. Again, I just use the regular stuff. It'll look like this. And then this will just sit up in the attic and vent out. The reason I have it up this high and you may not want to do it this way is because I have two feet of blown insulation uh, in the top. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the final product. Um, I put a little rim around so it can sit on top of the drywall. Uh, you can see down there and then have some uh, insulation to keep the boards from cracking and getting messed up. Uh, so this should be okay. I have no idea what to expect, but uh, this will work. I almost forgot the important part. So the cooler guys, I ended up getting this unit. It's basically a plate and then I attached two of their hoses together. You can see I've got the gate grates in there. And what I'm going to do is just put this in there like that and then get it to go. So you'll see it in a few minutes. Now that I think about it, it looks like an upside down Robbie robot. Uh, but again, as you can kind of see it, if you just use your imagination upside down, uh, when we use these different hoses, they actually maintain their specific shape. So you can see in here how everything works and how it goes. So that's pretty cool. So this should be it. I'll go do the installation now and then we should be ready. So what I did now was I pulled the cabinet out. You can see I've got the, the lights just hanging down on top. I've got the dual fans that are going there. You can see them. I've got the board that mounts because I've got about 10 inches extra on the back. And then I've just got the drop cloth because I'm going to go up and drill into the ceiling. So I've got my two Cat6 cables going up into the roof. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole right over here uh, that's the size of the fan box, which let me move it over here, which Robbie the robot's sitting there. So then those two hoses will connect to the back of my fans here. So then that way it gets vented up to the top because it does get close to 90 degrees inside the room during the summer.
when I'm not home. So be back in a minute and we'll show you the next step.